April 25th anniversary of SpongeBob SquarePants. Wow, time really flies. Today is the day when SpongeBob's first episode air. It's incredible to think about how this TV show has remained in people's memories for so long. I'm so happy to hear that it's still being appreciated by many. Ha <laughs> ha, well now. I've come across an exceptionally ideal video to mark the anniversary of the Yellow Sponge and his underwater sea creatures. It's a thrilling death battle video showcasing his encounter with Aquaman, not the DC character, but the one from Super Friends. So, you're referring to the Hanna-Barbera version. Sure, let's proceed. I know for a fact that both of these two characters reside underwater and I have a deep love for them. No pun intended. However, if I had to make a choice regarding the winner, I would unquestionably pick SpongeBob, for reasons that are clearly evident. I mean, for crying out loud, our heroes hoots and say Squidward, Mrs. Puff, Sandy, Gary, King Neptune, and the Bikini Bottom mates from the clutches of mind control from Plankton. He is it in the most badass way possible, weaving a motherfucking guitar. Talk about a rockstar savior. Not to mention that, in the season 11 episode, there was something extra, and yes, I apologize for mentioning modern Spongebob, but, but just hear me out. In the strained episode, he managed to unravel the interunit by grabbing onto the mysterious string. <gasps> oh my gosh! If that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will! Well, let's see how he matches up against the watery third wheel of the Super Friends. Twilight, prepare for battle. Okay, I'm gonna start this death battle, so let's go! And here's Aquaman! Whoa! Robotic versions of Pat Rake and Sandy! And here's the sponge himself with his spatula. Wait a second, you're not Mermaid Man. Duh. The name's Aquaman, evildoer. Evildoer? I'm a hero. I saved this city. Miley, he said the thing. I think that's a reference to the we did a Penrick meme. And he's a super friend. You see, sir, I'm a sea sponge. Phylum Porifera. And you can't just... Well, except for Summer Water Punch. How about a little karate, water man? Here we go! It's Aqua Man! Whatever! Well, well, well. Looks like Sandy Cheek's karate skills have really paid off for you, partner. Impressive moves, I must say. He's a sea creature. And as the king of the seas, he's mine to command. Oh, snap! That's gonna hurt for him. Plus, is that move from a video game? I wasn't. Oh gosh, Eels! To you, Sponge. Let him have it, chums. Electric Eels, to be more precise. Well, well, well! It appears you're seeking coding lessons from none other than me. Oh, get lost, Aquatic Man! And SpongeBob's absorption of the water from his surroundings has led to a change in the battleground, as they are now going to fight on dry sand. I like sand. I see it now. Different version of Aquaman. Oh man. And out of all of them, I'm the lamest fucking one. Oh, you said number eleven. I'm a ripoff. A joke. I'm no superhero. People used to say the same kind of thing. Uh, what's the deal with the Emperor's cessation? Knucklehead McSpazitron. But every day, I get back up and say two words. Oh shit! Be cautious! He's about to try and stab you with his. Hey, incredible! The water has returned with one strike. He got the pencil from the Doodle Bob episode. And here they come. Hey, try and stitch a door get away from him. You might want to rethink that. Technically not for that spike. The other side of the universe. The universe. Get ready, Robin Mode is now lacking. Wow, things are really heating up. Shit, man. Don't cry, Sponge. Let's be super. Oh no, the waterworks are occurring. His pencil has been shattered. 
Oh, a reference to the here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams mean from what crowd's trash. It's <laughs> enough to make a grown man cry. And that was SpongeBob versus Aquaman. Wow, what a breathtaking ending. He sadly scribbles something on the ground and then steps back, smiling at the memorial grave of Aquaman, adorned with flowers. In scry here lies Ocean Man. The ending had such an emotional impact on me that tears welled up in my eyes. And indeed, Fluttershy, it was an undeniably tearful conclusion. Nevertheless, it offered some comfort and consolation after the intense battle. And speaking of the battle, it was absolutely mind-blowing. I was in awe of the incredible display. I firmly believe that SpongeBob had what it takes to triumph over Aquaman. His resourceless with a pencil and his exceptional karate skills left a lasting impression on me. Eh, I can't believe how it all ended. It left me feeling so sad. Sad, but in a good way, nonetheless, I am still proud of him. This is the greatest day of my life! Congratulations, SpongeBob! Your statement was spot on, and not your fingers speaks for itself. You heard it!